What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video. So today we got another Friday which means Zer has returned to the tower for the weekend. So let's take a look at where Zer is and what he's selling to us this time. So Zer is going to be in the hangar in the corner here and uh, let's check out his inventory. So this is what he's selling uh, this week. For the exotic gear, we got for the Titan an insurmountable skull for it. So pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if he ever sold this helmet before, but it has a pretty decent stat roll. Its perks are melee hits replenish grenade energy, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and storm fist kills regenerate health and spawn with melee energy. So not bad. I'd say this one is pretty decent for Crucible because spawning with melee energy is pretty good. And also regenerating your health when you use your storm fist melee ability is also pretty good and so I'd say this is okay um, if you're looking for a first exotic as a titan I'd say that you can go ahead and pass just because there are better ones like the armamentarium or the ruin wing so hopefully you'll sell that again for all the new players but you can go ahead and pass on this one if you want to or if you have a lot of coins you can go ahead and pick it up and you want to collect all the exotics then you can do that as well up for the Hunters, we got the Lucky Raspberry. It has a really good stat roll. It goes up to 160, which is pretty high. And its perks are Arc Bow Grenade, Chains Further, Spawn with Grenade Energy, and Carry More Ammo for Heavy Weapons and Fusion Rifles. So that's pretty good. Um, I'd say this one is a decent one as well. Uh, there are better Hunter exotics like the Helmets, like Symbiote and the Mask of the Third Man. But this one's not bad for a first exotic as well. Also has a really high stat roll, um, which is really good because it's intellect. And that helps you get your super cooldown quicker. So that's pretty good. And then for the Warlock, we have the Starfire Protocol again for the second week in a row. This is a pretty cool. Uh, similar stat roll. It's pretty high once again as well. Um, and its perks are gain an additional fusion grenade, carry more ammo for fusion rifles, and heavy weapons. So pretty similar to the other one, pretty similar to like an armamentarium as well. Um, I'd say this one is really good for a first exotic if you just hit level 20 and you're looking for a better exotic gear uh, to help you level up your light level. This one's really good. Um, it has really good perks on it as well. Um, so I'd say this is pretty good to start off. I'd say the Praxic Fire is still better, but he has not sold that one yet. And hopefully he does in the future since he keeps allowing us to upgrade it. Uh, but this is a really good one to start off. Gaining an additional fusion grenade is always good because it allows you to pick a different uh, perk or upgrade in your subclass tree. So that's always good. And then for the gun, we have the last word this week. Uh, so that's pretty good. Helps you prep for the Iron Banner because Iron Banner is coming up this Tuesday in the reset um, along with the patches for the Quota Zen Raid. And uh, so this one says bonus damage and stability, extra precision damage when firing from the hip, and this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. So this one's really good. Uh, the reason why this gun is really good in a crucible is because it has this fanfare ability, which allows you to fire it like pretty much automatically and quickly, and uh, that's why it takes out guys so fast, and that's why it's good in crucible because. You're able to take down guys in 1v1s pretty quickly and pretty often. So that's why it's so good in uh, Crucible. And then we got the exotic shard for 7 strange coins. And then he's not selling an engram. So hopefully next week he brings the engram back and we can all spend our most of light that we always earn. For the upgrading of exotics we have the Crest of Alpha Lupi and the Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter. Uh, both of these are just okay, so I'd say you can pass on these. For the Titan, we have Helm of Sam 14 and Intermountable Skull Fort. I'd say the Helm of Sam 14 has a higher priority here because it's really good in PvE and not bad in PvP as well um, for like control and stuff like that when you put your bubble on points and stuff, um, control points. Uh, but for this, the Intermountable Skull Fort that he's letting you upgrade has a lower stat than the one he's selling, so. Don't buy it or don't upgrade it through this. Just buy it with the strange coins because you're going to get a higher stat. And I think 13 strange coins are cheaper than 7,000 glimmer and an exotic shard. So yeah. For the Warlock, we have the Apotheosis Veil and the Heart of Praxic Fire again. I don't know why he keeps doing this, but he just hates Warlocks, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, 
Heart Pack to Fire, he has not sold yet, but he keeps letting us upgrade it. Um, I was lucky to get one early on in the game from an engram, so that's pretty good. But um, hopefully he sells it eventually so we can just have it and not have to upgrade it instead. Um, so yeah. For this, I'd say Hypraxic Fire though is more of a priority, but I'm guessing more people have Apotheosis Veil than Praxic Fire, so more people would try to upgrade this instead. For the guns, we have Hard Light, Suros Regime, Mina Multitool, Thorn, Plancy, and Galahorn. Um, for this, I'd say Suros Regime and Galahorn are the two main ones, and then Mida and Thorn are the next two, and then Plancy and Hard Light. So uh, those are probably the order that I'd go in. I think Sur I think these four though in general, Suros, Mida, Thorn, and Galahorn are all pretty good at guns. Um, Thorn is obviously really good, but you can do the uh, bounty if you want instead. And then Mida and Suros are pretty good primaries, and Galahorn is obviously just a monster because of the wolf pack rounds. So uh, that's probably a necess necessity if you haven't upgraded yours yet. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, before I leave, real quick though, please check out my friend's website. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you guys want to check out the latest and greatest video games, uh, go check out his site. It's pretty good. And uh, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching once again. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.